Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video we will see how to create platform event trigger flow in Salesforce. In that we will see what is platform event is and what is platform event trigger flow. To creating a flow we will take scenario and I will explain how to create flow with that scenario. So what is platform event in Salesforce? In Salesforce the platform event is used to deliver a notification within Salesforce or an external app. It is based on the event driven architecture. Then what is event trigger flow in Salesforce? The platform event flow launches when any platform event message is received. This auto launch flow runs in the background. For example, when you retrieve data from an external system in platform events, we can use the flow to split and save the records to specific object. Let's better understand with using a scenario. So in this scenario, an user has created a screen flow for creating an account. While creating the records, the user may encounter various errors and issues. Those errors and issues will be reported to the Salesforce admin. So it will be very difficult for a Salesforce admin to identify all problems and provide a solution at a particular time. For this, they can use platform event trigger flow to automate the whole process. So before creating a flow, we need a custom object to store our notifications. Like when the error is occurred, that error we need to store in a particular object. For that, I have created object named as a log error. Here you can see this is a custom object. And as I click on fields and relationship, you will see here I have created two fields, log error name and a description. And the second thing we need, we need a screen flow from where we will create a account record. To navigate the flow in a quick find box, search for a flows, then click on a flows button, then click on a flows. Here you can see create an account screen flows. I have already created a screen flow for creating an account. This is a screen component. In that I have added the text field for account name, then email field for email ID and there is a pick list field for ratings. I have added how to create a screen flow link in description box. There is another element to store the records in a account object. Now we will create a platform event trigger flow. For that we are going to create a new flow. Here you can see new button. Click on new flow button. And then here you can see platform event trigger flow. Click on it and then click on create button. As per our scenario we need to find what error face to the user while creating an account records. For that in the start element of the flow we need to add a platform event. For catching an error while creating a records we have a flow execution error event. As I search flow execution error event. Here you can see we need to simply click on this. This platform event notify users of errors related to the screen flow execution. Means whenever a flow fails, a platform event called a flow execution error event which contains error message and details. Here you can see log error object and in that I have, I have created two fields log error name and description. When this flow execution error event catch the error message and details it will be stored in that object. After entering a platform event you can simply close this window. Now while creating a records the errors which we get we need to store that errors in a log error object. For that we need to add the data element which is create records. Here you can see plus icon. This is the add element click on it and then simply click on create records. Then enter the label. Here I am entering create error records. API name will be automatically populate. Here we will select one because we are creating a records from a screen flow. And in how to set the record fields, here we need to map log error object fields with the API name of a flow execution error event. For that, here you can see use a separate resources and literal values click on it then in the object field we need to select the custom object which is log a error here you can see log a error custom object click on it 
as you click on it we need to set a field values for a log error now we will map the flow execution error event fields and the custom object fields because because when we get error message from flow execution error event that will be stored in a custom object that's why we will match these fields so in this field we will get object fields like we have created a custom object that fields will be appear here as you click on this field you will see log error name click on it and in the value we will get flow execution error events fields here you can see the global record variable as you click on it you will see here we need to add flow api name here you can see flow api name click on it then we need to add more fields because we also want to store the description what error is occurred that's why i click on the field and then select the descriptions to map the description here we need to add flow error message for that again click on the global variable here you can see the flow error message simply click on that now we are ready to save the flow click on the save button and then enter the flow name here i am entering display error message platform event flow the api name will automatically populate then simply click on save button after the saving flow simply click on activate button now we will add the created screen flow on the home page here you can see create an account screen flow i am changing this flow level for that i am uh, i have clicked on save as button and then change the flow level test account error message and then simply click on save button as i save this then we need to activate this screen flow i am clicking on activate button now we need to add this screen flow on the home page for that navigate to the account object here you can see the test account error message which i created a screen flow so basically how to add a screen flow on the home page i will provide a link in the description box so you should know the account name is a mandatory field on a account object so by intentionally i am leaving it as a blank i am entering the email address this is a random email then select a rating then i am going to save this account so here you will be not understand what error has occurred here they not mention what actual error is so what we can do here you can see log error object click on it and then here you can see create an screen flow as you click on it in a log error name they have provided the flow name and then they and in the description box they have provided what actual error is so here you can see the error occurred when the flow is tried to create records required field missing because on the account object the name is a required field so i hope you have got an idea about creating a platform event trigger flow i have explained with the scenario and and the explanations if you like the video click the like button subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get regular updates thank you